Last season, Montpellier finished second in the French top 14 behind the champions Toulon. At the heart of their side was second row Robins to Charlie Wachu, a player whose path to the top was unconventional to say the least. I often say that if someone had asked me to bet one penny on the success I have known so far, in all modesty, I would have refused. But each time I had an opportunity to go forward, I took it and threw myself into the challenge. T'Challe Wachu grew up in Deshang, Cameroon. One of six children, he spent his youth playing any sport he could. He was an outstanding basketball player. But then fate intervened. One day, I was playing basketball with my friends and other people on campus at university when some rugby players passed by on their way to a game. They said we were too clean to be rugby players and they dared us, saying, listen, this is the deal. You play rugby with us and if you manage to win, we will play basketball with you. So I went there with my friends and we started colliding with yellow tackle bags. We had a go at tackle tackling and dribbling, and they told me, you know, you could play rugby. I replied that it was out of the question. Do you see me rolling on the ground like that and ending up covered with scratches? So we finished the game and I left. And two weeks later, just like every Wednesday, we were having fun, and the guys passed by again and said, come with us, we'll play touch rugby. You'll see, it's fun. There's no tackling, just touch. That's how I became a rugby fanatic. I became hooked progressively by playing sevens. I enjoyed it because there's more space, and that's when the magic happened. By the age of 19, he was playing at international level for Cameroon, and it wasn't long before the scouts from the professional clubs came calling. I was playing in a tournament in Tunisia, a 15s game. And when I came back to the hotel, I had a call from reception to say that somebody wanted to see me. I was wondering who that was. So I came down and I met this guy, an agent, who gave me his business card and told me that if I wanted to play in France, I should contact him. And at that time, in the Tunisian or Moroccan team, there was a player, a winger called Jaoud Eziar, who played for Ariac. And one day he told his coach, I played against a guy in a match, and I think he would be a good catch. Starting in the French second division, he eventually progressed to the Stade Francais side before settling at Perpignan, where he played in the top 14 final in his first season. I arrived in a country I wasn't familiar with. They have a very strong national identity in the Catalan region. Their mantra is, we are Catalan before anything else. And I entered the locker rooms, and the shirt and colours gave me goosebumps. When I entered the Aim Giral Stadium, I asked myself if I was not dreaming. Was it true? Yes. I was there in the stadium with the fans, the shirt, the values. And that was the beginning of five wonderful years with the club. Last season, he reunited with Fabien Gaultier, his former coach at Stade Francais, in Montpellier. Having become something of a talisman in his native country, he's got high hopes for the next generation of African players. Whilst European kids were born with a pre-formatted framework with the benefit of advantages, on the other side, African kids were born with nothing. They have to fight for it. Everything needs to be worked for. People talk to them, teach them. They can see and watch things, especially nowadays with the internet. So these kids are like sponges. Whatever activity you do, they come to you. They are curious. They wish to see and learn. And that is going to be a major asset for the future. And the rest will follow. And T'Challe Wachu has been an ideal role model for these youngsters, proving that anything is possible. As I like to say, Cameroon made me and France perfected me. Cameroon is my country, although I am Franco-Cameroonese today. And I would bring to Cameroon the best things France gave me in terms of vision, perspective, discipline and hard work. I think I could bring that. And in France, 
I bring the diversity, authenticity and spontaneity that Africa gave me and aren't always a feature of Western culture.